Hi, now the purpose of this recording is to show us how simple it is to get going on some really creative laser cutter projects. So if we take a look at a project like this, all you see is that there are four butterfly wings and five circles. And if you just know one tool inside the laser cutter, you would be able to replicate this. So find a butterfly wing, outline it or make your own, and then add the circles where you see them and just make sure that you uh, connect all of it with a hole in the middle for a clock. This one's cool, but it's even simpler. It's just got some random shapes that it's looking at. Now this one is, has two different color materials. So this top piece is this blue color and they cut out you know, the eye holes, they cut out this hair and the arms and the spot for the clock. And the bottom piece is the exact same shape, except it, it's complete for the arms. It has little extra legs, and it's got these uh, clock markings in it. This is just two pieces of material with a clock added behind it. If we want to start getting fancy, we can see that there are ways you can layer different textures like this. So you start layering. However, if you're just getting started, try to keep, try to keep it simple. This would be more simple. This is just one cut with uh, the uh, streets of New York in it with a profile. And then the, the white thing beneath is just uh, the same shape as the black thing on top. So this is really just one fancy cut with, with, a, back, with a white bottom. Here's one that you could do very easily. If you can get the branch at a bird shape, and now they cut out this bird, this bird. You could start to see how you could customize these for yourself. Here's a clock shape inside of a camera with the straps hanging it on the wall. Next we have the very complicated with many layers. Let's go past it. <clears throat> a target clock. Now this one is just white uh, laser cut, probably acrylic, on top of a background. This has many, many different shades put into one center piece. So this white piece and this or this red piece and this red piece and this red piece, they're all the same piece. They're just cutting multiple copies and they've got little holes here along the side where in which they will fit. You can see that there is no end to what you can create with a laser cutter. And this one has the what looks like uh, fly wings as the arms of the clock with the word time flies down at the bottom. So if you're just starting out there, we should just keep it simple. And what I want you to do is keep your eye out for something that you are interested in. Now, laser cutters could also be used, not just for clocks, but these are coasters that people have cut out using just a, a geometric shape, and the, the cutter will cut as many copsi, copies as you want, as long as you go through the work of designing it. Here's a brain coaster. This has got a constellation on it, on, on just a board. This one cut out a bug. So we're not even halfway through the list here. I want to show you how to actually achieve this yourself. So what I have, and if, if you find yourself in Corel Draw or a different program, if you import a picture, you know, usually it's under, sometimes it's object or import, file, import, right here. After you import a picture from the internet, what you're going to have to do is trace it. 
So I'm going to trace this. And what that's going to what that is going to do is give it a nice straight edge, a vector edge instead of a very pixelated edge that we had before. So that's what I imported. But what the tracing process does is it gets rid of all of that all of those little pixels and gives you a straight edge. Then, if I were to try to make this into a clock, maybe I want the bat symbol right above a circle. So, here comes a circle. Now, I'm not going to teach all of the steps to using the laser cutter, but if, in the case of our laser cutter, this needs to be a hairline red circle. So if you right click on it, you can pull up the object properties. They happen to be right here. And it needs to be a hairline red. So now that that is a hairline red, you can see that there's a problem. There is this extra little edge inside of here. And I'm going to fix that in a moment after I put an outline around the bat symbol. So here we have the bat symbol that I imported plus an outline around the outside of the box plus the, uh, the part of the circle we need to get rid of. Now in the case of Corel Draw, there's this tool over here. You might have to click and look for it in these different tools because there's lots of tools hiding inside of these menus. You're looking for the Virtual Segment Delete tool. That is going to get rid of all of these extra pieces that we don't want to keep. Now just like that, I've gotten rid of all of the pieces that I didn't want. There is still an old logo at the bottom here I'm trying to get rid of quickly. Great. And all you're left with is a cut that will go around the bat symbol and leave a circle down here. Now if this is actually for a clock, there's going to need to be a circle centered in the middle here. That is also going to have to be hairline red. But now that you've seen how quickly and easily you can take a shape and add other shapes to it, there is no end to what you could do. If I take this square, put a circle next to it, using that virtual segment delete, it's easy to get rid of the middle. And now what I have is a whole new shape that I've made. Take care to to realize that this is a very powerful tool and very easy to use. Now if I were to actually make this clock, I would then print it and send that to the laser cutter with a very simple design. Over here I have a multicolor design. And again, we're going to have to trace it because it's a, a picture. It says you need to, re it must be reduced. So we're going to reduce the bitmap. Basically, it's got too many pixels for it to handle. And what the computer is doing right now is that it, it is tracing around all the black here. And it's going to trace all the yellow. And now it is done. And what you can see is that it, it kept some extra colors, some extra shading 